Hey friends, coming to you today to share with you a little candy jar that I'm going to make for my grandchildren. And I know you've all seen them. They're the little clay pot candy treat jars. Well, I'm going to do a little different take on mine. You know, this time of year, you're lucky to find any kind of clay pot and saucer. And I went to Dollar Tree and I just picked up one of these paper cardboard containers. They have different shapes, but they're all about this size. And this is going to be the base and the lid for my candy jar. And you're going to need some kind of little round vase. They're normally just plain at the top, but once I got it home, I kind of liked the little ruffle lid it had on the top because it really helped my lid stay on there even better. And another thing about the cardboard container is that it's less likely to get broke with a child accessing the candy and things like that. So I'm kind of liking the way this may turn out. I'm going to do a Grinch themed and I needed some green candy. This is the only one I really could find was the green spearmint. My Grinch is going to have a ruffly collar on there. And so I went to the toy department and I picked up this lime green little princess skirt. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. You're going to need some glue. You're going to need a glue gun and some red paint. And I needed a little pom-pom for the ball on the top of the hat. And this is as big as I had in my stash. So I just took some white yarn and made a little pom-pom ball about the size of a golf ball. And I think that's going to work fine. Now, I don't normally like to share crafts that require a Cricut or a vinyl cutter or something like that. But I want to give you an alternative. If you don't have one or you don't know someone who has one, it's pretty rare you don't know someone who has one nowadays. But this is my... Grinch face that I cut out for mine, but here's an alternative. I just printed out a Grinch face and you can stick the paper in the glass jar and take a black Sharpie marker and just trace your Grinch face on the glass with a permanent marker or paint marker or something like that. That's a good easy way if you didn't have a vinyl cutter. Just wanted to give you a little alternative. So what, so what I, need I need to do now is I'm gonna paint the base of my container and my lid red and then I'll get back with you. All right, I have a couple coats of red paint on my base and my lid. And then I come over here and I've taken my princess skirt off of the cardboard and just laid it out flat. I'm gonna cut it in half vertically. So if you're making these, you can get two Grinch collars out of one skirt. And then from the top of the ruffle where it's gathered up here, where the elastic is, I'm gonna make it two inches all the way around. After I've cut my skirt both ways, this is what I'm left with. Two little pieces is pick which one I want to use. I want to tell you that I ended up just putting just a spot of hot glue right there on the elastic ruffle. And that's going to be the back. You don't even have to put glue all the way down. So that's going to be my little Grinch collar. My little containers are still drying. Now is the time to go ahead and try to get your Grinch face on your jar by whatever means you choose. I wanted you to know before I hot glue my jar onto my base that I took some clear spray paint and just sprayed it on top of my red paint just to give it a little sheen. If you don't, then it's just gonna be a flat red. All right, friends, here is my little Grinch treat jar. I think it turned out so adorable. It's just as cute as the clay pot kind, and I really like it even better, especially around children trying to access the candy and lifting the clay lid and things like that. So we've got a week before Christmas, so there's still plenty of time for you to grab the supplies, it, and you can make this in less than 30 minutes and less than $5. So I hope you enjoyed it. Merry Christmas.